I have a very visual mind. I like to see things rather than hear information. And I remember thinking, looking at these tinny little things, and I'm thinking, oh, wouldn't it be so great if somebody brought out an ID bracelet? But as this, it was my first inlaid with lapis, which was my very favorite stone. And actually, here is the color it I was envisioning. And then, I would want somebody to invent this contrast of silver with yellow diamonds and yellow gold bezels. And I thought, oh, that would be so cool. It would make it so much more, a little rock and roll and just much more fun. And I would want it to be solid. I got what I wanted. And so I was wearing them. So what happens is these are individually cast and then they're polished up and soldered together. And then this stone, I love working with different stones. I mean, there's one called Chalcidium, which is a wonderful violety blue. And I pick things, I sort of pick the stone nobody wanted to adopt. Because I like the imperfection, or I like if it has markings in it to make it interesting. And so I then take it to the lapidary and they slice it open and I, they say, oh, we'll, we'll take all the white out. I said, no, 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 I like that white. And they'll cut it, they cut it to here and then just to sink it into the shape so it can rest in here. And then they chop off some of the top but in order to get this wonderful smooth finish, there's a stone wheel like you see in some old movie with the tap running. They painstakingly smooth this down on the stone wheel and finish it just as you want. My jewelry, I call it rock and roll chic jewels for women and secure men. What I've noticed a lot of people do are taking care, they're actually collecting them and stacking them up and the great thing is you can coordinate them and look very throwaway with your clothes.